Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me again. Uh, I know Herman, as usual, has been making tons of videos I've been absent, but I'm back and I have Core Beauty here with me. Hello. And in today's video, we're going to react to a video by Jubilee. They made a video, Ivy League versus Community College. And I watched halfway through it. Beneath didn't watch it at all. And I watched halfway through it and I was like, we got to react to this. So uh, let's do it. Sounds good. <laughs> I know I'm going to get triggered. <laughs> just uh, disclaimer, if you hate seeing people get triggered, be prepared. Yeah, I saw half of it. It looked so juicy. I was like, we have to. I know who's going to get triggered from this. Yeah. And I brought her along. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I get my Ivy League students on the left and my community college students on the right. I wonder why they got two here. I feel like for diggers, you would agree. Just, you should what other I wonder why. Cause my my school is a huge part of my mm. identity. Mm. Oh god, I'm <laughs> getting triggered already! <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, so in high school, like, everybody knew me as the oh guy who wanted to be Yale. Oh, Jesus. I'm surrounded oh, did by they Yale. all come? All yeah. Them. All yeah. are affiliated with Yale, who lift me up, who support me in what I do, who support me in my job search, who support me in my career, who support basically my entire life. So, yeah, my life right now revolves around my school, and uh, I love it. For me, I have made an effort on my channel to dissociate my school identity from who I really am. People will always be like, Kani, why don't you make more YouTube videos about med school? Why don't you do this? And some people are really thankful that my channel just doesn't show me as med school, med school, med school. Because it's not the only part of me. Yes, it's a huge part. Yes, I moved to a place to go to school. Yeah. Yes, I am affiliated with all these people at such a like bougie school, etc. But like at the same time, it's like... That's not who I am. You can take school away from me and I still have so much more to my identity. Yeah, I think it's always super weird when you see people like that who are like, the school is such a huge part yeah. of their identity. And it's interesting because like that can actually negative affect, uh, negatively affect people. Like during Second Look, for instance, when uh, like prospective students come to your school to see if they want to go there. It's people like this that will lie to you and tell you, tell you only the good things about their That's school true. to force you to go or like to really push you to go there. It's interesting how it works. And like yeah. even with school pride in high school and stuff, like I don't know, like I was never one of those. I think they're, well, yeah, I think that's a different thing, though. That's more social, right? But I think when it comes to, like, academics, I think it's very interesting when people have so much pride and so much investment in this identity of school that they almost get, like, brainwashed and it becomes, like, literally them. And I understand, like, even when we were at Berkeley, yes, your life revolves around your school, right? Yeah. Like, day and night, it's Berkeley, 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 Berkeley. But at the same time, you can't say it's all, like, who you are. It's it's an education. Mm -hmm. There's, that's an, I, and I preach this many times, that's not all that matters in life, being a good person. Like, there's just so much more than just an education. I, I love this question because uh, I struggled a lot with this um, going into Princeton. I think, well, I played soccer my whole life and I got recruited to play soccer at Princeton. Um, and then going into Princeton and being a really good soccer player for my hometown and then being on a team with uh, girls who were all the best in their hometown is like, oh, now who am I? I I'm that. not the best <laughs> anymore at this. Okay, I feel like this is a major problem that these kids have in Ivy Leagues and competitive schools. I just feel like even in med school now, I've seen so many people get frustrated that they're not the best anymore. Mm -hmm. And I've literally heard that from people's mouths. It's like, it's so hard not being the best anymore. It's like, I've accepted that I wasn't the best, like, back when I was freaking, like, five. Yeah, the thing is, we were told also, like, there's always going to be someone there's better. There's always someone Like, I don't know better. if kids aren't being told that anymore. I never even wanted to be the best or anything like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like these just do want... your best is what the point is. Exactly. Like, do your best. And yeah, obviously that's super cheesy, but, like, if you don't get that life lesson, you're going to struggle when you get older. And I think that's what happens in all these competitive schools. And that's why people are always like, imposter syndrome, this, that. And it's like... I don't think it's hit me and trauma that hard with imposter fit syndrome because at the end of the day, we knew we weren't the best. We weren't comparing ourselves all day with other people. Community college in itself is like a very, it feels very temporary. Like no one really has that camaraderie that you guys have. Like, you know, in like 30 years, you're going to see somebody and you're like, oh, you went to Yale? And it's going to be like, oh, I don't know what your mascot is. What is it? Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Ooh, bulldogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's like this thing. And it's like, for us, I'm like, oh, Vikings. 
like whatever. <laughs> well, I don't even know my school mascot. I've been around uh, long enough to realize that uh, there is nothing at school, uh, service uh, in the army, uh, none of these things, I think, define us. They are a part of us. Mm -hmm. But what defines us is what we accomplish in mm -hmm. life. Maybe that's some of the wisdom I've been able to pick up in 85 years. But uh, that said, uh, you mm -hmm. are what you do, not necessarily what you attend. I, I, th I agree with what you're saying, and I think it's very valid that um, you're defined by how you are as a person, by your character, by what you do. Um, but I also think that it's Yale that built my character, that makes me like the person I am. Yeah, but Yale, you're the one who got into Yale. Right. It came from here in you. Right. Yale didn't put that into you. The college admission system is a fair system. <laughs> Why I was so hesitant on my answer was because I was grappling between the system itself versus the results of the system. There are ways that people can help themselves get in. Like, you're a recruited athlete. Um, a lot of people are children of donors. A lot of people have legacies. That is, I guess, inherently unfair. I think the college admission system in general is, is very unfair. Um, and, and a lot of it comes down to luck, right? It depends who's reading your application that day. Are they in a good mood or are they in a bad mood? Do they have a really great lunch or was their lunch order late? Do you feel that you got lucky 17 times? I definitely did. I mean, like, if you calculate the percentages, um, so I got in, I applied for 17 schools, I got into all 17 schools. Um, and uh, I think that, like, certain things that I did in high school definitely helped me stand out, maybe, from, like, the sea of applicants. Um, but it's not something that you're like, if I do X, Y, and Z, I will certainly get in. It doesn't work like that. Very, yeah. very well spoken. Yeah, I do want to point out, so some people, obviously, now we have, like, a split here. There's some people that are like, yeah, you got in uh, 17 out of 17 times. That's not luck. Like, statistically, that's really unlikely it's probably that you're a standout candidate mm -hmm. and for certain cases like her that's probably the case mm -hmm. like there is something standout there's a big portion of students in the middle that are great candidates but it's really like there's no rhyme there's or reason no why they pick this student over this student yeah. there's like obviously the whatever five percent extremes the 50 percent it's however they're feeling that day yes yeah. that's just kind of how it is when you go to community college especially nowadays there's just so such a stigma, stigma. yeah like that makes me so sad like i'm getting my education really like sad. i'm bettering myself mm -hmm. why do i feel like i'm lesser than just because i don't have a fancy name school on my like resume you know what i mean yeah we do think that there actually is a stigma mm -hmm. this is I something agree. that definitely does exist um and i think it's brought about by like everybody we're all responsible every time that we praise someone who goes to an ivy league we create that huge distinction mm -hmm. like oh my god you're amazing you go to yeah. whatever yale that means that the person next to you that goes to whatever community college mm -hmm. and they're not it's getting not, praised yeah. and they see that they're like crap yeah, you're not necessarily bashing the community college person but just by putting but, the ivy league person on such a pedestal exactly. you're essentially saying that the other person is not as hardworking or not as amazing. Yeah, I think we put Ivy League on a ridiculous pedestal. Yeah. Like it's really not people aren't like some geniuses yeah. born out of like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what people think. Exactly. I think just like the stigma that you guys mentioned, I think there's a stigma in the opposite direction too, where people who aren't in the Ivy League, they think like, oh, they must think that they're better than us. I don't think people we don't think like that. I don't think like that. You said the stigma around um Ivy League students, I do believe there is one, and I totally get it, but how much better is it for you, for someone, for when they say, oh, where do you go to school? And you can go, I go to Yale. Yeah. And then they go, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. How is it? Like, you must be so smart. For me, when I go, oh, I go to LBCC, and they're like, oh, that's, that's cool. She's completely right. The advantages of being an Ivy League student Far are out. way, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. like, we're instructed when we go to get like healthcare, go to whatever, we have like a wound or something and we go to the doctor, we're instructed by like our faculty at Yale to say, I'm a Yale medical student. And then they notice that the treatment is different. We get better <laughs> treatment sure. when we say we're Yale medical students. Mm -hmm. um, when like um, doctors introduce us at random hospitals, they always make sure to mention this is a Yale student doctor, this is a Yale this. For sure, and even in my interactions with doctors for shadowing at different 
different institutions or is they're just like oh so where do you go to medical school and i say you know no, no but oh like okay like it just immediately you sense a different advantage like you sense a different atmosphere and it's just very it feels very privileged like you know if you've been in it like yeah. you know that you're getting an advantage like clearly yeah. just by the connotation and the way they talk changes yeah. and even um like covertly like behind the scenes what i hear it's like whenever i introduce myself as whatever uh yale medical student or somehow someone gets to know I'm from yale at some hospital and they're like you're not one of those like blank school medical students right yeah. and we treat those differently yeah and they say that like behind their back yeah and even within my school i have heard students talk about you know do students caribbean students mm -hmm. in a very negative light it's who you know more than what you know I've always said that when you pay for a school like Yale or Princeton or any, any school, you're not necessarily paying for the education. I don't think our education is $70,000 worth more than your education, but I do think what we are paying for is the opportunities and the connections. You don't get a chance to uh, network with the same people that you guys oh, yeah, do. 100%. That's and that, that makes a big difference. So yes. it, it's kind of where you network yes. as well as networking. I hate the word networking. I think it's I think it's so like utility like you want something, that person mm -hmm. knows you want something from them. So someone recently said to me, um, don't view it like networking. They said just go it into the room the um, and see who do you who are the cool yeah, people there that you want to be friends with. It's not like, oh, I'm just talking to you because I want a job. It's like I'm genuinely interested. How did you get from point A to point B? What do you do in your day to day? And that's how you get to know that's those what people. It is, Mm -hmm. that's, that's, what that's what it comes down to when you actually look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I disagree with one point from this girl, like the whole video, which is this one. Uh, networking is the nastiest thing I have ever seen in nasty. academics. It's disgusting. It's fake. It's literally the definition of immoral, in my opinion. You're literally using people to get further in your career. And people are gonna be like, oh, don't view it like that, just view it like this. Okay, that's like saying, don't view something as a robbery, but like, you know, you're, you're just it. taking something <laughs> that you deserve. It. <laughs> you can't just reshape something that is gross to be something that fits your narrative better. Like, for me, networking is literally using people. Again, this isn't how it happens. Oh, who are the cool people here? Yeah. Go no, the it's note. who it's has something you want. That's no, no, no. It exactly. It's like who you, the, these networkers, these people, these kids trying to network, they've looked up everybody in the room. Oh, they've yeah. looked at their resume. They've their looked at their credentials. They're like, about huh, it. it's strategically planned. It's not, yeah. I go into their room, oh, she, you're really nice. Let's hang out. Yeah. No, they, they have they done their nasty They do their work. like, yeah, research before, see what school they go to, talk about alma mater talk about their freaking CD4 cell research and like say oh my god I have such a strong interest in that oh, blah, blah, blah. like it's literally a game and it's gross to me and I hate it the comment I'm gonna get that's pretty funny is they're gonna be like yeah you don't that you don't really think of Yale as your identity um, but you put Yale in all your titles and all your not all yeah. the thing is people listen when you tell them where you're from, right? Yeah. Like a doctor, when you tell them, yeah, yeah, um, this kid is from Yale Medical School, their eyes are like, okay, now if I mess with this guy, I'm gonna have to deal with all this faculty here. Yeah. And so there is like a power in it. Yeah. And um, in like personal life, when I go to the doctor or whatever, they're, they're like, what school do you go to? Yeah. I'm like, I go to a school in Connecticut. Yeah. Like I really don't care. Yeah. Um, but you have to do it sometimes. You just have to. Yeah, for sure. Just um, like this ad from, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously the clickbait thing is like, cause people listen, there's power to mm -hmm. the thing. But, um, and again, I think everybody needs to stop putting so much value in these names, right? Like when somebody's like, hey, here's Harvard, and everyone's eyes light up. Like, yeah. I go to Harvard, like, dude, who cares? It just like, goes to show because your your videos do better when you have the word yelling. It's literally proven on our side in analytics. So 
it just proves that there that people listen more when you put Yale in your name. Yeah, and I think again, just look at the person, look at the individual. Don't look at the school. Don't look at Ivy League versus yeah, when you're judging community college. Person. If somebody goes to a community college and they have some great insight, you better take note. You better take notes there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think that's more than enough for today. More before our enough. camera over here. Yeah, yeah. Again. We will see you in our next one. All right, later. Bye, and guys. subscribe to Core Beauty. Yeah, I guess. You and watch Herman's video. Herman actually just posted um, like a mad cow video. That was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, what does he call it? Like the scariest, scariest diseases he's learned about in med school. Yeah, and it's super interesting, and I, it's one of my favorite videos on the channel. So go ahead and watch it if you have. And if you want to see baby P, baby shaman, they're kind of you know throwing. Their they're in your first one there. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.